It was bumpy for boaters or anyone on a local beach. It was like we were in a downed forest. I've never seen so many tree-sized logs. The trash and debris we saw last summer in the bay are now bagged up in a report card any student would want to hide from their parents. The bay took a huge hit in 2018, and our State of the Bay report score dropped from a C- minus to a D plus. It was a decrease of just one point down to 33, but Chesapeake Bay Foundation President Will Baker calls it a big indicator of the recovery efforts. The report looks at three categories, pollution, habitat, and fisheries. The recovery is fragile and last year showed just how fragile it is. The Bay Bulletin captured volunteers earning some sweat equity hours last summer as they tried to clear out these enormous tree branches that traveled downstream from the Conowingo Dam after it could no longer hold them back following severe storms. We went out in our boat without knowing. We hadn't seen the reports and it was so dangerous. Uh, we thought we were gonna be stranded out there. Lisa Lutz helped neighbors in the Bay Ridge community of Annapolis with the cleanup. It was a disaster. Baker points the finger at Pennsylvania in part for not controlling runoff from agriculture that travels down from the Susquehanna River and dumps in the Bay. At a meeting this summer, there was a commitment from state leaders to make some changes. Pennsylvania needs to step up its game. The report card shows shad took a hit, but CBF scientists say there is a ray of sunshine. Scores from bay grasses and dissolved oxygen went up, and there was no change for rockfish, blue crabs, and oysters compared to the last report card two years ago. Adult crabs, the numbers are up but juveniles are down. And so over the last couple of years, we've seen sort of this mixed bag, but overall no change in score, um, but, uh, but reflecting some good news and bad news. Oysters have been hit by everything from disease to overfishing to water quality. I think from, from those perspective, we really need to be focusing a lot of our efforts on bringing oysters back. If you're wondering about your part, Will Baker says there are steps each one of us can take to help bring up the grade. Probably the best thing individuals can do, believe it or not, is to drive less certainly recycling, uh, using less chemicals around the home, all of those sort of things contribute. And Baker says to get involved politically if you want to make waves and help CBF meet its goal of scoring a 40 by 2025. For Chesapeake Bay Magazine's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.